What's up guys? This is uh my elimination chamber pay-per-view predictions. Um just kinda sitting here bored really early Saturday morning, uh just chilling in my Young Bucks t shirt. And uh yeah, just thought I'd do some predictions for the chamber pay-per-view on Sunday. Um following the chamber pay-per-view will be the huge raw event that I wish I was going to because it's only like 25 minutes away but I guess tickets are pretty expensive for that now so yeah they're hard to come by but what you gonna do um, but let's just get this started got the kickoff match um, you got Rybaxel versus Cody Rhodes and Goldust uh, I expect Rybaxel to win this I feel like this is just gonna set up Cody Rhodes vs. Goldust at Mania. They'd be too stupid to do that. They have the opportunity now. You don't know how much longer you're going you're gonna to have Goldust at with like his in-ring production right now. So you got to set that up for Mania. You got to have Ryback so win this one on the kickoff. Um, I guess the next one will go to um, New Age Outlaws vs. The Usos for the WWE Tag Team Championships. Uh, this match means nothing. I don't know. It might not mean much because I'm sure the New Age Outlaws will keep it for Mania. But they might put on a, de a solid match. But I expect the Outlaws to win it at Mania. I don't know who they'll face though. Um, I don't know if they'll have a regular tag team match or if they'll end up doing six team t or six person tag match. Uh, don't quite know yet. But um, yeah. Outlaws there. Then you get Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil and the breakup of the primetime players. Um, I haven't really thought about this one actually. I guess they'll have the heel go over here with uh, Titus O'Neil. I don't know. I feel like Titus has got a better future than Darren. Um, Titus is good on the mic and everything, so yeah. Go with Titus O'Neil. Um, got that. Intercontinental Championship match between Big E, no longer Langston, just Big E, and uh, that's against Jack Swagger. Um, I guess Big E will keep it. Um, that's I, I, I can't see them giving it to Swagger. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe at uh, Mania they do the unification match between him and Ambrose. Uh, I don't know. I guess Big E. So, um, the next big one is Batista versus Alberto Del Rio, and, um, I fully expect Batista to win this. Uh, Del Rio's, Del Rio's gotta make him look good going into Mania. Uh, I don't know how good quality-wise this match will be, but I feel like this has just gotta set up Batista for, um, make him look like he hasn't lost anything in the ring or anything. I don't know. But yeah, Batista. And then we get to the match that I can't wait to watch. Uh, we've been waiting for this one forever. The Shield versus the Wyatt family. Um, I really wish this one was at Mania. Maybe they'll do a rematch at Mania. Because I feel like there's going to be a screwy finish here. Um, I think the Wyatt family will win. Because maybe Ambrose and Rollins. Or maybe just Ambrose will... I don't know, maybe leave Reigns in the ring with the Wyatt family and Reigns will fend, him, fend off for a little while, but I don't know if it'll last or anything. But yeah, I feel like the Wyatts will win. They're too dominant to lose this one. Plus, if they want to make Bray look good enough to um, take on Cena at Mania, they got to have them win here. That's why I feel like so. There's that match. It'll it'll be it'll be a great match. I'm sure it will be. Then we got um, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, uh, the Elimination Chamber match. Uh, you got Sheamus. You got Christian. You got Orton. You got Cena. You got Cesaro. You got Bryan. Um, by the way, they've like booked Orton lately by losing a lot. That that only means that. He has a good chance of retaining here. I hate that, but I mean, that's the way they've been showing so far. It kind of reminds me of um, back in 
back by Money in the Bank when Orton lost to Bryan. And uh, Orton kept on losing, I think, before that. And then I think he lost on the... Uh, I can't remember. It, it was one of the Raws before Money in the Bank. Uh, he kept on losing or something, and he ended up winning. Uh, he ended up winning the Money in the Bank match. So uh, I guess I'll go with Orton retaining. Uh, I w really wouldn't mind if um, uh, Brian or Cesaro. Well, I would. I would go crazy if they won. But I mean, like, uh, I guess Orton will have to do. I mean, Orton versus Batista is just boring at Mania. Um, Hopefully that's definitely not the main event then. Uh, hopefully they have something planned a lot better, like the Undertaker match. Uh, I don't know if they'll be booked bigger than that with him versus Brock Lesnar maybe. I don't know if they'll get Sting back, but I guess we'll have to go with Orton. So, yeah, um, kickoff, got Rybaxel, got New Age Outlaws, got Titus O'Neil, Big E, um, Batista, Wyatt Family, and Orton all winning. So, yeah, that's Elimination Chamber. Um, hopefully the Raw on Monday is as good as they're building it up to be. So, yeah, I'll leave it there. See you guys later. Please like, comment, and subscribe.